Hey everyone. So we're looking at your lesson seven entrance slips here today. Uh, your lesson seven notes should be taken care of. Again, we continue our parade through writing and solving equations. All right. Um, so kind of each day you see the theme here of where we get into some of our equations that we just straight up solve, but then we also work on setting them up. So that's what we're going to begin with right here. All right. Um, and we notice here is they want you simply to check. Check whether the given value of x is a solution to the equation. So there's two ways you can go about doing this. One, you could flat out solve the equation. You could just do business as usual, solve your equation, see if it matches up. The other thing is the check step, which is the actual of plugging them in. Just kind of depends on the situation as to what's a little bit easier. Like I'm working with the whole number here. I'm glancing at the second question there and I see myself a fraction. Ugh, I, so sometimes, again, we're gonna look at both techniques here and you can see what works better for you. So um, if they tell me X equals 48, I'm gonna plug it in for the very first time. We're just gonna plug it in. So I've got one third times and then 48 plus four and I wanna know does it equal 20. Well, 48 plus four is 52. If I take a third of 52, remember, taking a third of something, one over whatever, um, it really is a division problem. So question here is, is if you take 52 and you divide it by three, do you get 20? Yeah, no, we don't. We don't. All right. Um, the reason why is because it has to be 60. 60 divided by three is 20, and that's, that's not the case. Now, again, I could go ahead. Do, do, all right. Um, is there cross division? There's not. The reason why I know is 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 times 3 by 9, which is fine. Oh, the visibility rule does. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to say no to it here. Um, if I actually solve the equation, I get 1 third x plus 4 thirds. Again, using my distributive property equals 20. Um, I'm going to subtract four thirds from both sides. This is where mental math is a nice thing. Um, it's one and a third. So if I take one away, I'm at 19. If I take a third away, I'm at 18 and two thirds. So as we talked about, it's a good thing to get rid of your fractions by multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm actually going to multiply both sides by three. All right, so x equals, all right, and multiply, I need improper fractions. So 18 times three, let's see here, put down the four, carry the two, that's 54. 54 plus two, 56. So it's 56 thirds, and I'm gonna multiply it by a three. Oh, look at that cross division. Look at that, look at that, yeah, yeah, a 56. But wait, that's, that's not 48, yes. I gotta know both times. So again, that's what they're after here when you are solving, all right, uh, actually when you're checking to see if it is a solution. Um, like I said, I think sometimes solving the equation is better. Sometimes I think plugging it in. I think this case, look at that left-hand side that looked a little bit nicer. Um, in this particular case, I think the solving is going to be better. Um, we, we haven't seen one like this necessarily, so it's a good one to talk about. Remember, you have to combine like terms. The issue here is, look, 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 I got X's on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the X's to one side. And I'm going to get all the numbers to the other side. And then I can solve my equation. So I'm actually going to subtract a 5X from both sides. And again, there's that phrase of both sides. Um, 3X minus 5X is a negative 2X. And then minus 1 equals... 10. All right, again, because I, opposites, bye-bye. Now I can add one to both sides. I've got negative 2x equals 11. If I divide by a negative 2, take 11, divide it by negative 2, do you get negative 5 and a half? Um, we do, different signs, so it's negative. 11 divided by 2, all right, is 5, with one piece that's left over. So it is there. So we're going to give ourselves an x. Yes, that's there. All right. Um, so, yeah, I, like I said, two different techniques, both for good. Just kind of depends on the situation. Um, if you're like, well, which one do I do? Um, you know, it's kind of up to you there. Um, I kind of say if they give me a fraction, I'm going to solve the equation. 
uh, if they give me a whole number, then I'm going to use substitution. But like I said, it depends on the situation and what you like better. All right. Um, so it says here, let's get your equation down. The total cost of four pens and seven mechanical pencils is $13.25. The cost of each pencil is 75 cents. Write an equation to solve. Okay, and again, write an equation. All right, so I'm going to start off visual here. Um, I've got myself pens, all right, and I've got myself four of them. So I've got pen, pen, and pen, and pen. All right, and I got seven mechanical pencils. All right, um, so I got seven of them. But wait, oh, whoa, 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 wait a second. So seven mechanical pencils and each pencil is 75 cents. All right, so if you want to your, uh, break out that calculator, if you want there, uh, if you want to do your mental math, that's fine as well. Um, again, we're more interested in the setup of the equation here. Seven times the 75 cents, that tells me $5.25. All right. So again, I, I started going visual here. I started just kind of writing things out, and then I can kind of see my equation take place here. Now, let's combine our like terms. So when you combine, you should get 4P. Um, because, again, I've got four of them. I don't know how much each of them cost. And there's my official equation to get myself started. All right. Um, so again, that's what we're really after right here. Uh, the solving of the equation. Are you showing things to both sides? All right. Um, and then yeah, we can divide both sides by four here. And we can get a nice clean answer. Again, we're going to give you, we're going to try to give you a lot of cleaner answers here because we realize you're just getting started with it. At the same time, a lot of you are doing the mental math and just getting to your answer and not coming up with that equation. Again, that's what we are after here is understanding what those equations look like and the ability to write them. Okay, people, there you go. Lesson seven, it's yours.